welcome back. Once more, Alex has a reason for wanting to talk to Paul. Alex queries whether there is a conflict of interest regarding his Hyperion venture. Alex continues to probe, and Corey tries to stop him, but Paul is happy to talk about it later. Corey then quarrels with Alex about the questioning. She has put in too much effort for him to suddenly destroy the business. However, she wants to speak with Paul to do her own investigation. Her brother Hal, his wife Cheryl, Samantha Sloyan, and their daughter Taylor are also paying Bradley a visit. Hal has some significant news, despite the visit's apparent innocence. He has made the decision to surrender to the FBI. This choice, which may wreck the lives of his family and his profession, astounded Bradley. Hal, though, won't budge from his position. Paul, do you take Alex's offer? Paul becomes accustomed to the UBA headquarters. Stella is questioned about the changes she would want to see at the business. Stella, though, remains dubious of Paul's intentions. Later, Paul sees Alex to discuss her sidebar. Paul, to Alex's surprise, agrees to an interview when she offers. He believes it's a wise choice. Paul's confidence astounded and confused Alex. Alex asks Chip and Isabella to conduct some research because she wants to learn more about Paul. However, they only have a two-day period to prepare for this enormous interview. Chip asks Stella whether she has any information about Paul as soon as he approaches her. Stella lies and claims to have barely known him, but the probing has clearly left her feeling up. Hal's threat is taken seriously by Bradley. She responds by extending an invitation to the studio. After that, Bradley speaks with a prisoner who is going to court to be tried for attacking a police officer during the attack on the Capitol. The prisoner feels bad about what he did. Clearly, Bradley is trying to make a statement. Corey is also drawn in by this news clip. Hal continues to be adamant in his decision despite Bradley's assurances that she is addressing the situation at her apartment. Bradley says again that his unnecessary confession will ruin everyone's lives. Hal wonders why Bradley didn't simply remove all of the Capitol's video. He understands that she will do everything in her power to succeed. Here is Paul's interview. The billionaire is questioned by Alex about his intentions and his dislike of the media. Even though Paul says he despises doing interviews, he believes this transaction is significant. He wants to clean up the sector as a whole and eliminate bogus news. Alex tries to fool Paul, but he turns the tables on her. He points out her errors, including leaving him behind during the rocket launch and following him to his hotel. In response to Alex's agitation, Paul suggests they take a break. During this pause, Chip requests that Alex bring up the information they have on Paul. What potential scandal exists with Paul? Alex goes for the kill when they come back. She mentions a Stanford student who alleges that Paul plagiarized their idea and their coding. Paul would later get wealthy as a result of this concept. Paul claims that he paid a reasonable price for the concept and hasn't stolen anything. This information about Paul is Chip and Alex's chance to elucidate a potential scandal. Alex appears to believe that the pupil was under duress. They later expressed sorrow for the transaction, which triggered sadness and a suicide attempt. Hearing this shocks Paul. He discusses how his own marriage failed as a result of his narrow view of the world of work. Paul acknowledges that he has since modified his beliefs, attitudes, and practices. Paul is saved by this frank and honest reaction. They make out before sharing a kiss. It appears that the interview was really a prelude to the main event. Paul and Alex then share a bed. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.